This is the story of a small prairie town. Just a dot on the map as you travel around. If you blink, you could miss it if you don't slow down. If you passed it, then you had it. You were Woolerton bound. It had a grain elevator as its symbol of power. A brand new curling rink and an old water tower. It had a fine hotel with a great happy hour. But trying to find the post office could leave you sour. Oscar Leroy was the founder of Dog River's Corner Gas. His opinions left you thinking, man, you're an old jackass. To Brent, his only son, the legacy pass. And never once between them did they post the price of gas. Emma, his wife, swore she was married to a twit. She would make fine clothing with her own sewing kit. If you ever had a problem, she took care of it. And when you got her angry, she had a cleaning pit. Now Lacey Peterson was an in-your-face kind of lass, took up the business next to Corner Gas. The entire town approved and gave it a pass when she brought the ruby back to its former class. Residents swore they had northern lights, saw them all summer long on Saturday nights. What it was were the flashers of the two local cops, Karen and Davis at the road check stops. Now the town had a secret, and if you asked them, they all shrank. They just dismiss it as a harmless, youthful prank. Let sleeping dogs lie, Davis said as he pulled rank. Never ask about the grad sign on the town water tank. Now Brent had a large head, not a small or a medium. For his favors, his employee was always busy bleeding him. He let things slide as there was never any greed in him. And with his dry sense of humor, he even made it as a stand-up comedian. Wanda was a woman with her own style and grace. When it came to her knowledge, there was no second place. She could stir up trouble and disappear without a trace. She spent a lot of time making up and saving face. Fitzy was known as a fairly competent mare, a handsome fellow with very short trimmed hair. As part of his platform on the town street repair, built a stoplight and a pothole in the market square. Hank was always busy, kind of quiet and shy. No matter what you asked of him, he proved a handy guy. At the baseball game with the town nearby, he got the last man out by catching a pop-up fly. Now the town had lots of guests and the odd hobo. Brent was often at the ruby when things got a little slow. When no one's there, the rule of thumb the town folks seem to know. At Corner Gas, take all you need and leave a little dough. 